Hi everyone, it's Maggie Bot here with No Vlomo for Tuesday. And today we're going to do some of my favorite pub games. So if you happen to be heading out to the pub and you have no idea what to bring with you, I will share with you what I brought in my bag today. Because you want to be prepared for all situations. Um, I was invited to um, attend GeekWire or uh, an online blog called GeekWire. They do these like meetups around town. And so uh, a friend of mine was showing up, so he said, hey, you should get tickets. So I came in not knowing really what to expect. Um, the good and the weird part of it is that it ended up being very Settlers of Catan heavy. So this is like, no joke, six to eight tables of Settlers of Catan, up to six players, running concurrently in a bar in the middle of downtown Seattle. Um, Settlers of Catan is a game that I've not overplayed. I've probably played five games in my life. Um, it's a very cool game, sure. It's got a lot of downtime in between player turns and off-the-top negotiation, and not a lot of come from behind. So if I were to put it next to a lot of the games I like, it doesn't really meet my criteria, but as far as being a good game, it's a very good game. But I had no idea that it really had that much of a following anymore, but these... This was like, people were signing up, people were bringing copies. These were pre-2007 copies. These were old school Settlers of Catan, like, just everywhere. Um, so, that was interesting. Um, I brought a game bag, so I always bring a game bag. And I kind of I threw a couple of, like, known good games, a couple of maybe if we see it games, and a couple of, well... Maybe I'll get stuck in the corner with that guy that likes gaming. It does happen to me. happens a lot. It helps um, that I, you know, am the person with the games. But, like, I had a copy of uh, Medici with me. Just in case I ran into, you know, three of those gamers out there that just were looking for, like, real strong games. Um, in case Brian and I were sitting alone in a corner, I brought Oddball Aeronauts, which... It doesn't go in its package, it goes in the deck box. Um, brought, in case everyone was drunk, guy splits. Um, the big one, the 5 to 12. Um, grab the things, do the stuff. And um, I didn't need that. I actually only played two games out of my bag, so i got to show you all the stuff I didn't. Um, every time I go to a situation like this, I grab Skull and Roses. Um, this is the best art for a bluffing game that there could be. And I couldn't find my cockroach poker, which is probably my preferred method. But the art in this game wins out. Um, Skull and Roses can be found in a red box as well from the same company. And as an updated thing called Skull, which doesn't have just roses. It has thistles and all kinds of things. And that's available now. Go buy it. You won't regret it. It's Peruto with coasters. It's fantastic. Um, always, always in my game bag is Koo. Koo Reformation adds just a smidge more, and you can play it without, but this version comes with all of the promo art and Inquisitor cards that say Inquisitor on them, which I was really happy about. Um, yeah, because Resistance is just a lot of screaming for me. I, I can't scream at people for an hour. And my other uh, Don't Dream It Be It game was Lagoon, in case we were sat in a corner with one other gamer. So, it... it it could have happened, but what did happen is I ran into a friend of mine, and he had his games that, before I sat down, they played Machi Koro, they played Spender, and as I sat down with them, we played High Society, which is, um, you are the Novu Rish, and you are bidding on castles and horses and all kinds of things, and you spend all your money. And at the end of the week, whoever has the least money is out. They don't even get to score, and then the person... There are all the rest of the people in the game then check uh, what kinds of stings they have in a very bidding heavy game and the person that bid the best wins and it's kind of similar to for sale and because it happened to me I, my game bag I said well it's kind of similar to another game that I prefer which is Biblios and I've done a little bit of a video on Biblios before 
Um, this is your monks trying to build the best library you can, and it has a bit of card evaluation in a funky way. There's um, point manipulation, and then there's an auction phase. And Biblios went over pretty well. Um, and the last one I will talk about... Um, so no, really, I don't like this game, but I keep playing it because it's really good and it goes up to a lot of players. Um, just don't play it with people who play spades or hearts and you're fine because diamonds. Diamonds. Um, so I played this and it went over really well and we all had a lot of fun. And I played it with one woman at, at this particular table that had not played a lot of trick-taking. She couldn't really think of a trick-taking game she had played. So introducing someone to trick-taking with a game like Diamonds is way easier than a game like Spades where you have to bid on your tricks. So this one you just... She had to know enough to know that like the Diamond action is better than the Heart action. And we can tell her that. So uh, that went over really well. I think I only won one game this evening. And it was not any game that I think was my fault. Uh, so, <laughs> pub games are their own kind of category. And just because that's near me, Anomia is also one that you should bring with you. Um, so, that was cool and everything. I'm looking back through my comments for my top five. Um, I'm going to start filming them really soon. And... Most people have guessed my number one and number two, so I'm going to have to figure out something cool to talk about during those. But no one has mentioned anything from my number five, my number four, and my number three. And even with a hint for someone, they only got my number four. So apparently I need to do a video for my number five and my number three with maybe some strategy tips because it's more of a traditional game. Um... But anyone that's ever played me in person would know how much I have played of this particular game. Uh, so that's it for now. I will be back with the rest of my top 10 and whatever other videos I come up with because it's November and apparently I can post as much as I want. So as always, good to see you guys. Sorry I rambled so much and I will talk to you later. Bye.